This is the, the third examination room uh, for dogs again. Entering to this exam room, it's the same concept that the pet owner's comfort is very important. You can sit down, read some magazines. Here's the examination table, and again, this area where we have another hand-painted mirror on the wall, which is one of my favorites, and this room also has everything a reception desk has. It has a telephone, computer, internet, access, laser printer. The doctor has some education material right there. We have the hand-painted mural, which is really interesting. Shows an old farm. Now oh, we have some pets here. Dog, cat, rooster. We don't do a lot of, uh, or almost any, uh, the physical examination as far as anything which can which could cause pain we don't do it here because we don't want the pet associate this room and this front of the building with anything painful this is more of a consultation room where we take the information from from the pet owner do your basic physical exam either on the table if it's a small dog but most of the time the examination is happening right here uh, the doctor sits on that uh, round uh, rolling chair. The dog is is comfortable because it's close to the owner, and uh, the conversation is just happening here, and the physical examination happening there. Uh, any explanations? We make some drawings on the the board. By the way, these are some cool pictures too from the early 1900s. So and then, once the physical examination consultation is done here, the uh, technician at the same time enters everything into the computer. We have 12 computer stations throughout the hospital. Then, As, as we have said before, uh, we take the pet uh, away from the, from the pet owner and we continue the, the physical examination, um, any treatments and tests in the back side of the clinic. It's hard to see from here. It's totally separate from here, so the pet doesn't even hear the pet owner's voice and vice versa. And we take in the back videos and um, pictures and we transfer them back to the room and we continue the explanations, any findings we have, we'll have it on this computer or actually what's happening more often that as the pet leaves the room, we tell the pet owner to go to our lobby and wait there until uh, we have some more information about the pet. Here's a reception desk here. And here's where the pet owner comes to our lobby, which I have showed many times, but we are very, very proud of this idea that how we can provide uh, comfortable place for the uh, pet owners. A lot of explanations are going to happen here in this room as well. We have that large screen monitor and we transfer the pictures and the videos 
over here and if it's appropriate we show it here if not we actually go back to one of the examination rooms kids can play here once the client uh, is informed about the test results and we finish the examination then the receptionist makes the invoice here and then just like at a nice restaurant takes the invoice the bill to the pet owner and then takes the credit card or gets the check and uh, the receptionist puts it in explains uh, the medications in the lobby area again there are no dogs jumping on the pet owner uh, to take the pet owner's attention away from a very important thing is the explanation of how to use the medication once everything is done then the pet comes back to here to the reception area meets the pet owner and they leave happily this is uh, our concept